this is a really t common type of problem once you learn continuity. Uh, and it seemingly looks very difficult and lots of students don't like this problem. So hopefully I can make this crystal clear what to do when you encounter this sort of problem. I picked a harder one. So, uh, so hopefully whatever you run into will be a little easier. But it says find C where C is a constant such that f of x is continuous. So I've got this piecewise function, which means uh, there might be a discontinuity. Well, in fact, there might be a jump discontinuity at x equals pi. But I want to pick the c. So c might be, I don't know, c might be 1, c might be 2, c might be 3, c might be something else. But I want to find the c that will make this function continuous. Or I want to um, make the c so that this side of the function meets up with this side of the function. So how am I going to do that? Well, when you learn the definition of continuity, it said that the limit as x approaches a of f of x must equal f of a. So that means whenever I take the limit of this thing, uh, the limit has to exist at that point. So let me take the limit of this thing as x approaches pi. And since I've got two different ways to approach pi, I got to approach pi from the left. And if I'm approaching pi from the left, that's when x is less than pi. That means I'm this first function. I'm c cubed minus x cubed. And if I want this to be continuous, it has to equal the limit as x approaches pi from the right, and if I'm pi from the right, that's x bigger than pi, that's this function, c times sine x. All right, now I have to solve these two limits. And luckily, this is a case where I can just plug in the value. So if I just plug in pi for x, I'll have c cubed minus pi cubed equals well, if I plug in pi for x, what's sine of pi? Sine of pi is zero. Last time I checked, uh, I hope that didn't change. That's a joke. Um, okay, now I can just solve for c, and luckily this isn't too hard. If I just add pi cubed to both sides, I'll get, that's my implied sign. c cubed equals pi cubed. And then if I cube root both sides of that equation, I'm going to get c equals pi. That's the answer. That's the value that if I replace in here, my function will be continuous. Uh, so what did I really do there? Um, if you want to solve this very quickly, and a lot of my students, they just want to know how to get the answer done. They don't really care about the reasons why I'm doing this. If you want to do this quickly, set both pieces equal to each other and then plug in the x value and then solve. And I mean, that's really what I did here. I set the first part equal to the second part and then I just plugged in the x value. Okay, so that's how you do these problems where it says find a number to make this function continuous. Sometimes they have like A and B, maybe two numbers you need to find, um, but it's really the same process. You're just going to set these two equal to each other and then plug in the X value and then you'll solve. Okay, I hope you got something out of that. Have a great day. Please like and subscribe.